Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Go. Today we'll be covering logic. The first thing you need to know about any programming language is the logical operators that it uses. In this case, they're pretty straightforward. The double ampersand for and, the double pipe for or, the double equal sign for equals, the exclamation mark equal sign for not equals, greater than, less than, greater than equals, or less than or equals are also straightforward. If statements are also pretty straightforward. One of the unique aspects of Go, however, is that you don't have to stick the truth statement within a parenthesis. So as you can see here, it just says if a greater than b, not if parentheses a greater than b, unparentheses. Another important thing to know about Go is that it takes formatting of its brackets seriously. For example, you have to put the open bracket on the same line as the statement. As in this case, the else has to be next to the open bracket, and it has to be next to the close bracket on the series before. It's wrong to put either one of those on a different line than the else statement itself. The same thing is true for if statements and else if statements. Also somewhat unique to go is that the if statements allow for an initialization statement. In the example here, it's evaluating the true statement of error not equal to nil, which is the second statement, but prior to doing so, it runs the first statement, and only once that's done does it evaluate the error that was generated by the first statement. The last thing we're going to cover is the case statement, which in Go is defined by a switch case template. As you can see here, you're switching on the variable called character. In the case that the character is Santa Claus, you are going to return good guy. In the case that it's Darth Maul, you're going to start a lightsaber up and return bad guy. And the default statement, which occurs whenever all the above case statements fall through, is going to return who knows. One thing that's important to notice is that you don't need to put your code in brackets if it's a single line of code. However, if you're going to execute multiple lines of code with a case statement, you're going to have to put all that code within brackets. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Please like and favorite, and we'll see you again soon.